Everyone knows the kitchen is a dangerous place to be of fruit, especially if it's the kitchen where the annoying orange lives. Over the years, hundreds, even thousands of foods have met their untimely demise there, be it by oven, squash, TNT, or of course, by knife. Over the years, the Annoying Orange YouTube channel has cooked up an array of creatively gruesome food murders. So here is the most brutal deaths in Annoying Orange history. Number 8. Potato in Muddy Buddy The moment this sunglasses sporting spud arrives in the kitchen, Orange is ready with puns galore. <laughs> you said spud. You're a spud muffin. <laughs> After being blasted in the face by an air horn, Potato loses his sunglasses and his cool. You're really getting under my skin, buddy. I've met some stupid food in my days, but you really take the cake. But moments later is when this tater really loses face. <laughs> Usually the knife kills its victims quickly, but Potato is not so lucky. Not by a long shot. Poor tater. Number seven. Durian in Tough Enough. It takes thick skin to put up with Orange's annoying antics, so Durian seems more than up to the task. Ha! That barely tickles my fancy! As a foo who prides himself on being tough, Durian simply laughs off the early attempts to chop him in half. <laughs> but then things get a little more violent. Okay, a lot more violent. Kinda tickles. And in the end, Durian gets killed just like all the others. But it wasn't easy. Or pretty. Ah! Oh, tough luck, Durian. Number six, Mango in Takes Two to Mango. What kind of life coach can't even manage to save his own life? That would be Mango, who meets his untimely demise in one of the most eye-popping ways of all time. Oh, talk about Nifle. Oh man, that's gonna leave a mark. Between the eye gouges, the fork stabs, and the knife slices, Mango's death is one of the most drawn out and torturous deaths the kitchen has ever seen. It may take two to Mango, but it took a half dozen utensil attacks to take down this surprisingly resilient fruit. Number five, ice cream in Scream for Ice Cream. We hate to admit it, but sometimes foods really, really deserve to die in a brutal way. That's definitely the case with the evil ice cream, who terrorizes Orange and threatens to turn the entire gang into evil, weird-talking zombie demons. Try it, guys. Yeah, try it. Just, you know, give it a whirl. Ice cream nearly succeeds until Pear flips a dial and turns the tables, resulting in one of the most face-melting deaths of all time. <gasps> Hurry! Raiders of the Lost Ark, anyone? Number four, pineapple in Painapple. While Orange's antics are enough to drive anyone crazy, few foods have lost their heads quite like pineapple. Stop, stop, Bear. stop! <laughs> Shortly after arriving in the kitchen with a super sharp hairdo, pineapple meets orange. And also knife. In fact, he meets knife quite a few times. In the end, pineapple winds up on a plate. But not before Orange unleashes some more tropical humor. I don't mean to stare, but you're looking worse for wear. <laughs> Number three, tomato in skydiving. As a skydiving instructor, it takes a lot to phase this free-falling fruit. That's right, he's a fruit, not a veggie. And don't you forget it. This is a backpack I brought filled with candy. Oh, give me that. No. Despite being a safety-conscious instructor, Tomato's lesson with Orange and the gang goes awry from the jump. That's dangerous! Yeah! Take this, Klaus! Yeah! <laughs> if you thought falling thousands of feet into a lake would kill him, you'd be wrong. Turns out tomatoes are hardier than you'd expect. How I didn't get killed is a miracle! Instead, Tomato's super gruesome demise comes moments later when something we saw earlier in the episode decides to drop back in. <laughs> Number two, watermelon in Food Explosion number two. The Food Explosion series is a treasure trove for brutal live action food deaths. But after careful consideration, we've decided to give the edge to Watermelon vs. Cinderblock. Even though the title of this video leaves little to the imagination, we still weren't prepared for how brutal this death was. Not the first time it played, not the second time it played, and not the fifth time it played. Well, and it may be tough to believe, 
But this isn't even the most brutal watermelon death on this list. That honor goes to number one, Brick Watermelon in Exploding Watermelon Challenge. When Orange and Pear decide to give this popular YouTube challenge a go, they expect they'll get close to a thousand rubber bands around Brick Watermelon's waist before he explodes. Way to go. Bring on the second one. Here we go. Boy, are they ever wrong. As Brick Watermelon, who supposedly got his name because he's built like a brick, explodes after just two rubber bands. Um... What? Brick's watermelon buddies are even less impressive at withstanding rubber bands, although their deaths are just as brutal. <laughs> that does it for the most brutal deaths in Annoying Orange history. Do you agree with our list? Let us know. And if you have suggestions, leave them below. Until next time, nice. Huh? <laughs> Ooh.